Carson, you've described all season that this team has been resilient. Well, after this win tonight, how would you describe this team? The same word. <laughs> um, wow. Um, that game was crazy, honestly. Um, I think it's definitely the craziest game I've ever been a part of. Um, but no, our group showed that we were resilient tonight, and we've shown that over and over this season that regardless of the circumstances, we're never going to give up. And I mean, that, that came into fruition tonight. So just super proud of our guys. What was the conversation, whether it was at halftime or even just going into the first, second, third overtime with this team? Uh, just keep going, you know. Um, it's going to take four, it's four quarters or however long it takes. You know, and tonight it was however long it takes, right? Um, they made the plays when they needed to. We made the plays when we needed to. Um, I mean, I, I don't even really know what to say about that. I mean, it was, it was just wild. It was an emotional game um, and, shoot, probably my last game here ever. So, I mean, it, it was crazy, but it's, it, was, it was one way to go out with a bang. So. No, it was a lot of fun. So you're saying it's your last game here at Georgia? Or are you saying that you want to go play in the NFL? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying in this stadium. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. let, me, let me rephrase that. Y'all cut that out. My last game in Sanford Stadium okay. was today. So, uh, or likely yeah. our okay. last game. So, uh, I mean, it was it was one way to go out. Could you imagine, though, eight overtimes and then you guys defended your undefeated home record as well? Was it was it eight overtimes? Yes, I it was. I didn't even know. I mean, it was. <laughs> Gosh, it felt like 20. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah no, nah, it was it was a lot of fun. Carson, can you attempt to walk us through the mindset of someone going through overtimes that you lose count of? Uh, you should just, just the next line. play, you, you know. It. I don't. I'm I done. mean, that's all you really can focus on. You know, the defense is going to go out and go play, and then we're going to go out and go play. I mean, there's a few plays that we could have executed on to help our defense out earlier, but you know, they stood strong and they got the stops when they needed to, and then. Finally, at the end, you know, we were able to punch it in and, and end the game. So. You spoke about resilience. This took a lot of that tonight. What can a win like this do for this team? I mean, it shows it shows it, it shows our character. You know, it shows our character. It shows who we are. Um, I mean, I'm going to remember this game forever. These guys are going to remember this game forever. Um, I mean, just a huge game and just so much fun. You know, it just, it just shows the brotherhood that we have on this team, the connection that we have that we're never going to give up on each other and we're always going to fight until the last second, uh, no matter what the scoreboard says. Carson, fourth quarter backs up against the wall. Georgia Tech dominates you guys for most of that, but you guys get the fumble. What's going through your head at that point when the, the win's right there on the table for you guys? Oh, we're going to go win the game, 100%. Um, I don't know. I, I feel confident that, you know, in those, in those situations, um, I mean, we practiced. I've been through it. We've done it. Um, that, if, that if, if the ball is in my hands, um, we're going to go in. What were the adjustments that you guys made uh, at halftime? Because it seemed like a tale of, I mean, three games, first half, second half, and overtime. Yeah, um, I mean, we kind of we kind of got put into crunch time there in the second half, uh, just, you know, from some turnovers and some things that we didn't execute on in the first half. So at that point, you, you kind of got to start throwing the ball. You know, it's kind of two-minute mode. Like, we got to go down and score fast so that, you know, our defense go out and get the stop. They get the stop. We go down and score again. Um, no, I mean, it was it was good complimentary football there at the end situationally. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff that we can go fix on film, but I think this game showed more about who we are as a team and our character and our heart, and we, we can fix all that other stuff. Carson, y'all went free and out on their first uh, drive after halftime. I saw you on the sideline, understandably frustrated. Some of your teammates came up to you. What, what were they trying to tell you there? Uh, I mean, just keep going. Um, I think it's perfectly fine to show frustration. Obviously, I'm frustrated. Everybody else is frustrated. I just had to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no reason to just hold it in and stay frustrated. Like, get it out and then move on next play. Um, I mean, uh, shoot, I have emotions. Obviously, I'm going to be frustrated when we haven't scored at all. Um, yeah. And we got to go put points up on the board. You know, our defense needs us. They're doing their job. We got to do ours. So, no, nah, I was just I was just frustrated. And they were just coming over to pick me up. But all was good. Carson, Carson. how can a win like this help you guys now with the momentum going into the SEC championship game? Oh uh, yeah, I mean momentum is a, is a real thing, but I mean every week is is separate from each other. Um, now we start the postseason, you know, um, and it's it's one week at a time, one and zero. I know I've probably said that like twenty <laughs> times this year, but shoot, um, rest tomorrow, a much much needed day off for all of us, uh, and then we'll get back to it on Sunday. Did you take an extra second to like soak in Sanford Stadium when you said this could possibly be your last home game here, just to, to soak in this moment and this uniqueness of this win? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, like I said, uh, just the game itself, um, just everything, the emotions, the highs, the lows, uh, the way we were able to fight back, and then you add that factor into it. Um, you know, I just took a second, looked around, and, you know, just tried to take it all in and just enjoy it, you know? And, you know, that was kind of my mindset coming into the day, too. So. When you saw Nate Uh, 
Sorry, keep going. What did you think when you got in here? I don't even really remember, honestly. Uh, it was just, I don't want to say it was a sigh of relief, but to an extent, it was like, oh my gosh, like, finally. You know, like, we did it. We got in there. Our defense did their job. We did ours um, after eight overtimes, now that <laughs> <laughs> I've been informed. Um, but no, I mean, I was, I can't even describe it. Uh, it, was, it was just excitement, uh, joy. Uh, really, just truly happy. How, how emotional? Compare this to other moments of your time. Oh man, <clears throat> one of the most, honestly, probably one of the most emotional games I've been a part of. Um, just the circumstances, everything with it. Um, kind of like how I explained, uh, like it could be my last time playing in the stadium. So, I mean, that adds some emotion to it as well. Um, you know, playing with these guys, I only got a couple more games left with them. Um, and these seniors, I mean, we've we've been through thick and thin together. We've we, we face adversity this season. I mean, it hasn't been easy. It's been difficult, and we've just come so far. And for us to like battle back like that and bounce back like that and show resiliency is is huge for us and and really really emotional. So I'm super proud of everybody. Carson, you've been Carson, you've been here for a few years. Out. Have you seen ever seen a freshman like Nate just kind of embody what he has, what he brings to the table? Oh man, I mean, he's done a great job. Uh, he did a great job tonight. He's done a great job this season. Um, I, you date back all the way to August 31st when we played Clemson and. He went for however many yards he went for, and it was eye-opening, you know, and he showed that he was going to be able to uh, produce for this team. And, you know, with ETN down, he, he's really been able to step up for us, and, you know, he had a good night tonight. Carson, so. what will you remember about these eight overtimes? Is there a play that stands out? Obviously, Nate's touchdown, but anything else? Uh, I, mean, I mean, shoot, the last one. The last one is the one that I'm going to remember, obviously. Uh, just ending it, the excitement, the crowd, just everything, the whole entire – just. All of that, is that, that'll be the one that definitely gets from me. Had y'all run that play in any form? Uh, I mean, we had run that play, but not in that way, I guess, if that makes sense. You know, uh, I mean, we run the same play in a lot of different ways, but no, no, we, we hadn't run that play. So we were wondering, is, are the offense is just going to run out of plays at some point here? <laughs> uh, you never, run out, of, you never run out of plays. I mean, there's 200-some plays on the call sheet. So, we'll, And if not, then we'll, we'll go get some off the call sheet. We'll, we'll make some up. You know, we'll never run out of plays. Hey, Coach, so are you are on E after that game? How do you get back up again you know, a week from now? Oh, well, we got an extra day off. You know, it's Friday. Uh, <laughs> it's Saturday. Uh, same thing. Uh, I get today off since it's already Saturday, which is the first day off in a long, long time. Uh, so, nah, I mean, shoot, we get back in tomorrow. I mean, guys are banged up. It's the SEC. Um, we played some really, really tough physical games this year. Um, get in there, recover, do all you got to do, and then Sunday, turn on the tape, move on, and then it's on to the next week. I mean, that's just how it rolls. Did you think at all about the difference between winning and losing this game, what it meant for the playoffs for you guys at all? Uh, I mean, the playoffs was not in my mind at all. All I cared about was – I can't say that. All I cared about was beating Georgia Tech. Yeah. That's all I cared about. Did Coach or anybody explain to you why you guys were going for two that first touchdown, or did that kind of catch you off guard? No, I had no clue. I was like, wait, why can't? Because they had went for two, and I was like, oh, we won. Like, we're about to kick an extra point. And then they're like, oh, you got to go for two. And I was like, I didn't. I had no clue, honestly. But I knew the rules said that you had to go for two at some point, but I didn't I didn't know when that was. What about the first touchdowns that you guys scored? You guys opted to go for two. They, no, we were 17 yeah. Oh, yeah. I, sure, that, that, that's beyond me, honestly. I don't, I'm not sure. What was it like on the sideline when you guys are going through those eight overtimes? Like, like, what are the emotions from the players? Up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> you know, it's like a roller coaster, and when when the when the emotions are rolling like that, you can't ride the roller coaster emotions. You just got to stay right here. You know, stay even keeled, stay stay on plane, uh, and just one play at a time. When you're doing like that, the first half, and then coming back, and then slowly getting in, the, you know, second half, and all the eight overtimes. I mean, like. What does it say about this team's resiliency to, to battle back? Right there? Yeah, I mean, we've, gosh, I mean, we've faced a lot of adversity this year as a team, um, and especially in this game uh, individually. I mean, we, we've got a resilient group of guys. We stay composed the entire time. We're very, very, very connected, um, and we fight for each other. You know, there, there's no individuals out there. There's no selfishness. It's it's one guy playing for the guys that his left and right, and I think that, what, that that's what makes us so good. Is there a One day, or two more questions, Is there a guys? day of the week that you guys practice two-point conversions? Um, I mean, we'll, we'll walk through them, and then obviously we have some periods where we obviously run them against the defense and stuff for moments like these, you know, so. You were the plays that Dan Jackson made there at the end. He's so busy on the sideline. Oh, I couldn't even watch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I was not watching. I was turned away, looking the other way. I can't, I can't watch in those situations. So, nah, I'd shoot. But do you know what he did? 
causing the fumble there? I I did I did see that on the on the on the uh, what do you call that the scoreboard whatever yeah. the video board. Yeah. I saw it on the video board after. So, but no, nah, I mean, huge play in the game. Huge. Coach Carson, come Coach your Martin on his way, folks. Come come come. Your teammates said you guys have not played your best game yet. Is that kind of a good thing to know that it's still up ahead? Yeah, I mean, I I think that's a great thing. I think I think there's games where we have played really well and up to our potential in certain moments, but. And I mean, you're never you're never going to play a perfect game. I mean, there's always going to be mistakes, but no, I, I do think that there there is a complete game coming. So I'm excited for that. Thanks, Your mobility. Appreciate it.